much excited. But listen, Alexis is, is more than anything else to me. You don't need to say it. Because this whole thing is written all over you. I think we also should start planning to get married. What do you think? That's right. We should be fast about it. Let's we end up becoming chronic bachelors. Now, now, now listen guys. Let's keep running. Because I have to get fit for that day. You know it's a special day for me. Ah! Oh, come on. Let's go. Please get us fit. I bet we look like one No problem. <laughs> Let's keep rolling, man. Keep on, keep on. My gosh! Just look at what you've done to my beats. You're sorry for deliberately destroying my favorite beat? Just get her out of the chamber now. Get out! Come back here, you wretch! Pick my beats off the floor and get your sorry self out of my chamber! Fool. God, she's so stupid. You continue. Flowers. Now, what flower is going to be thrown at my royal feet today? What? Who possesses the flowers? I guess the both of you did. I thought I told you goblins that I wanted red roses. And of all the flowers in the world, you had the guts to bring me this? Oh, you better be. Look, I am sick and tired of all this boulder dash. The other day, I requested for water lilies. What did you bring? You brought yellow bells. Today, I asked for red roses. And you have the guts to bring me daffodils? I'm so pissed right now. I'm going to make sure you get severely punished for this. You get just a quarter of your Take me out of this place. 
idiots. Idiots. Twenty-one years ago, your father was supposed to ascend this throne just after our death, as tradition demands. 
but hoping for the day to come, they snatch him the most. Hey, Father. Same old story, okay? I already know all this. You have to exercise patience. Patience, which is also a new part of royalty, is rarely what you like. I'm listening. My dear, I am the only one left with this great empire. With no end to succeed me when I've gone. Oh, really? And you think that's a problem, Grandfather? Oh, my God. How wonderful. Amazing. Marvelous. Let's follow me. My family. Oh, my queen. I'm going to be called. Oh my God. I'm going to be loved, admired, respected, and revered by my subjects. I'm going to be so much to stay. I'm going to be a great queen during my reign. So, Grandfather, that's what I'm going to play. Because I can single handedly rule this entire little kingdom. That is if you want me to. No. No, no, no. And then, it is forbidden for a woman to rule the little world. It has never, and it will never be. Say so. Tradition. Oh, well, I can be so easy and rule. The only way you can get to get access to the world, unless you are married. What? Married. Your husband shall rule as king and you will be the queen. And you know what? I've selected a perfect man for you. In fact, he's the managing director in one of my companies. His name is Alan Keka. You're not serious about this grandfather, are you? Oh yes. I'll arrange a meeting for you to commit so you start getting along. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, grandfather, I'm used to this. This is one of your daily jobs, right? I've never been a serious in my entire life. God, Grandfather, you're so impossible. And seriously, I don't believe you, Grandfather. Look at me. I'm not even ready for marriage yet. And you're here matchmaking me with some dumb stuff of yours. Mother, are you part of this? My princess, you have to understand. Did you just say understand, mother? Of course! I do understand. I understand you very well. How can I forget that it's always about you two? You and your father are so, so, so sane. Whenever it comes to making decisions about my own life, I say you're leaving it for me. Wait a minute. So this is what it's all about, huh? You called me from the States to come back home so that you can marry me also a total stranger? Okay. It's all coming back to me, your English. My dear, you have to understand that this is tradition. And I told you, we love with tradition. Oh, well, not in this case. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. But my decision is final. Oh, really? Well, then, I'm also very sorry to disappoint you, my father. Because you see this chick standing here, read my lips and be educated. I am never, ever done it for the youth. I am the king here. Oh yes, you are the king. And I'm not disputing that part. But that is over your kingdom and your people. And not over my life. Oh, shut up, Johnny! Don't Talk dare me! Grandfather. Don't dare me, young lady. Because I won't take it. Oh well, then you watch me. Flowers!
Janice, where do you think you're going? To see my manicure is to do my nails. Sorry to disappoint you. You are grounded. Therefore, you will not leave this palace. What? Nor should anyone come and see you. Ah, yeah. Guards! Listen and listen carefully. No one should allow my daughter out of this palace. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. But this is so not fair, Grandpa. Life itself is unfair. You will remain grounded until you learn how to be responsible. Why are you doing this to me? I don't even know this guy you keep talking about. This man you want me to marry. I don't know him. <laughs> but you seem so to me. And I think he's quite an handsome guy, isn't he? His photograph is not enough to make me love him or easy. You will learn to love him after your wedding. What about true love, old man? What about true love? My decision is final. Love cannot be forced, okay? What is happening here? It's grandfather. Yeah. He's grounding me for getting married. For refusing to get married to a man I've never laid my eyes on. Why is he doing this to me? Look, my princess. Grandpa and I want the best for you. Okay? You want the best for me, mother? Mother? Do you know what is best for me? You don't even know what is best for me, mother. Maybe what you think is best for me is seeing me cry every other day. If you think I'm gonna sit my butt down and watch you marry me up to somebody I've never laid my eyes on, then think again, because you really need a rethink. Now listen, young woman. If you think your grandfather will risk his throne for you, then you must be what is all this? I hate you. I just hate everybody in this palace. What is all this, Janet? That's... Unbelievable. What am I seeing? It seems like that Teresa really wants your services today. That is why you guys are having fun. Teresa. Indeed. I'm fed up with her unbearable attitude in this palace. Do it, my. Look at the way she was challenging the king. I pity the man that wants to marry her. I guess she has been used to that American lifestyle. Wait a minute, are you trying to tell me that all the other girls that have been to America are as good and uncultural as she is? No, I mean the princess has adopted American culture. She behaves just like them. I agree with you, my sister. Every time, bullshit, hell, fuck shit, shit, shit. <laughs> I'll have to say hi. Let me go in there and continue my work. Okay, okay yeah, 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 I'll see you later. Take care. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue our game. Okay? Look, 
my grandfather is making an arrangement for me that I don't like. Arrangement? Yes, arrangement. He wants me to marry a man that I don't love. A man that I've never even laid my eyes on. My blessings. Please, I don't want to love from the king, please. The king won't know, okay? He won't know. Okay. My princess, I don't want trouble from the king. Okay, no problem. Uh, Open the gate for me. Uh, By 8pm. Uh, okay. Are you going back to Pulau, my princess? No, I'm not going back to... I'm not going back abroad. My grandfather has seized all my traveling documents. And that's the major reason why I want to leave this place today. Thank you, my princess. Oh, they won't kill me. Princess Janice? 
My kids from yesterday, I do not see the places. Lie! You are the last person that sees who comes in and who goes out. If you don't tell me the truth, I will make you regret the day you want. I swear, I do not know, sir. I do not know. Guys, arrest this bastard here. I'm sorry. I beg. I'm sorry. She gave me paper to change it to money from the bank so that I will let me get open wide, wide, please. How dare you? You leave the gate open for, for her to escape? Beg. You are a big fool. So, all of you, big fools. Now, all of you go out and find her and never return. Commissioner? Yes, it's the king. It's an emergency in my palace. Thank you. Okay. I'm calling the commissioner. It's coming. Kind of
Come on. Cool yourself down. Come on. <coughs> Are you okay, huh? Who are you? I'm not a bad guy. Then tell me who you are and what you, you know who me. I am, Janice. Who's Janice? Why are you pretending? Huh? Tell me. Huh? Why are you acting as if you don't know me? I don't know you, okay? And tell me what you want from me. For God's sake, why did you run away? Huh? Tell me. Why didn't you give me a lot of beautiful chance for me to be with you. What are you talking about? We are supposed to get married. But what? you scampered away. What? You and me get married? Why are you, Jerry? Stop acting like this! Why are you pretending? Janice? Stop calling me that, okay? I am not Janice. No, you are not. You are Janice Abanya. And we both know that, just like I am Alan Kai Kai, the guy you are supposed to get married to. So quit pretending as if I'm some damn stranger you've never laid your eyes on before. Oh my god. Who have I just landed myself into? What is all this? Listen, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry if I wrecked your wedding, but it would be a huge mistake for you of all people to get married to some guy who we just met. And that your grandfather is in the program. What the hell are you rattling about? Look, I don't have the slightest clue about what you're saying, okay? You might be right about my getting married to Banner being a mistake, but that's certainly none of your business. And I don't even have a grandfather you keep talking about. Look, mister, you just kidnapped the wrong person. Of course you know who your grandfather is. Yes, and he is the reason why I'm here. Look, I am sick and tired of all this, okay? So just take me back home. I won't press charges. You mean you are not charged? That's right, I am not. Then who are you? Fine. Like I told you earlier on, I am Alexis Sandy. And I am from Kujiru Kingdom. You are not Janice Banner. And you do not know your grandfather. Mm -hmm. And even Queen Lina. Exactly. This is something. Okay, you know what? It's already late now, as you can see. You'll have to spend the night here then tomorrow I'll take you home. How about that? You just poor what is supposed to be the happiest day of my life. Just look at me. I said I'm sorry. I am truly, truly sorry. Is this what you do every morning after kidnapping people? I will take an exception to that. I wish you wouldn't use a fast word on me. What would you have me call it? A blind date? <sighs> you look nice in that outfit. Oh yeah! I'm looking nice in your outfit! <sighs> what would you like to eat? Nothing. I'm not ready to eat anything. So tell me, how did you know about me? But yeah, you could tell me why you decided to run away. How many times do I have to tell you that it wasn't me? Look, I'm not your Jasmine, okay? And I've never laid my eyes on you before. Look, Janice, if you think you can fool me by pretending your name is wrong, then you must be mistaken. As soon as you admit who you are, then we can work this out. I mean, we can work this out amicably. God, this is crazy. Do you want to marry a complete stranger? 
listen, if you had stuck around, we would have gotten to know each other, wouldn't we? Tell me. If I am who you think I am, I certainly wouldn't have left you. Why would why would any woman want to leave you, mister? But you did. Did I? Are you sure it was me? Are you sure that you are not a Janice Banya? Yes, Banya? I am not Janice Banya! Okay. Give me a minute. Can you explain this? This is a photograph of my fiance and I. Well, this is what your grandfather used to describe. And this is what we used to announce our engagement. I see. I don't have a grandfather. How many times do I have to tell you that I don't have a grandfather? Give me a break. You don't have a grandfather. I don't have a grandfather. And your parents are both dead. Yes, you're right. How convenient. Can you explain this as well? How many times do I have to tell you that it wasn't me? This picture. Is this Janice Banya? So you can recognize yourself. This is not me, for God's sake! But the resemblance. Look, it's the so uncanny. Is this Janice Banya? You said the resemblance. Okay. I'll have to leave you for you to sort yourself out. After which, you can let me know. I'm out. Oh my god, what is this? If this lady in these pictures can look exactly like me, then I think there is more to this than meets the eye. I have to get to the bottom of this matter. What? Just look at her. Exactly like me! And to unravel all these mysteries, I think I have to start pretending that I am this Janice Banya. As from this moment on, I, Alexis Sandy, am Janice Banya. How are you? I'm fine. One of the dresses is worth talking. Yeah, I can see that. It's nice. You're looking nice in it. Thank you. Do you like it, right? Yes. Come, come see. Yes. Janice? Yes. I was thinking. Are you not worried as that your people in Kudu might be looking for you? I have nothing to worry about. Why? Well, actually, I'd written Bernard a letter. And I guess I must have dropped it when I fainted the day you took me away. So, what kind of letter would, will keep people from wondering about you? Um, one telling him that I'd changed my mind about marrying him but I never intended I never wished for him to say it no way so why did you change your mind um, I never wanted to hurt Bernard but I came to realize that my feelings for him were in true 
so I had to quit. So Janice, tell me, are you thinking of going back? No, not now. Why? I I I've fallen in love with you. Excuse me. That is sincerely speaking. I've never in my entire life been this positive about you. You about my feelings. I must confess. I love you. So, what next? Like what? I thought you said you were going to take me to the king, my grandfather, and my mother. Yes. I know you were eager to see your grandfather and even Queen Mira. Yes. Okay. Tell me so a problem. So, where are we going? Tonight. Tonight? Okay. Okay. So, let's go. Let's go. Could you 
possibly be my mother? Oh, shut up! Where on earth did you get that very last question of yours? Apparently, I look enough like your daughter Chance. <sighs> Even Al is very much convinced that I am his fiancé. A young woman, I assure you that I am not your mother. And nor is my daughter related to you in any way. Apparently, your resemblance to her is just one of those inexplicable coincidences. You call that a coincidence? Of course, yes! Well, I think there's more to that. <laughs> Young woman, if you were looking for loyalty, you'd come to the wrong place. None of this was my idea. Ah. There you are. Alan, you came in at the right time. I have already told him. Told me what? That this young lady is not Janice. What? What else could you? Janice, what kind of game is this? I'm Alexis, remember? Then why did I you... told you, but you didn't believe me. Then why did you accept that you were Janice? Take your side to the it and it to her. You see? Liar! I'm nothing but a liar. You are what you hunter. That's what you are. No, no, your majesty. Would you respect your majesty? Stop calling her that. Yes, she's no fortune hunter. She was telling me the truth. Yes, but I couldn't believe her. You see, Alan, I urge you to take this thing to wherever you brought her from. I need to speak with the king. There is no need to speak with the king. She must leave immediately. Your Majesty, she will not leave until the king sees her. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Then we shall speak to that. There is no complete on just my identity. But I promise you, I must get the bottom of this in my That's what I told you to do. And that is why I told you to do this place. Yes. But I want you to promise me one thing. That you will never, I will never leave you. I promise I will leave you. I love you too. What is wrong with you? You came here late last night and here you are disturbing me and the neighbors. Don't you have something else better to do? You are a princess for goodness sake. A representative of your grandfather's palace. By the way, where are you off to this party? Stop saying that me, I'm not a change person. Change person, indeed. I get it. Tara, you're so tired of me staying here with you, right? You want me out. No, I didn't say that. But you don't have to say anything, girlfriend, for me to understand. Because these days it is either the Chinese, the house is so mess, Chinese, the music is so loud, or Chinese, you love the TV on. I get it. You know that's not the point. For three months now, you'll be living your life on a fast lane. What is wrong with you? <laughs> In what business of yours is that? Now, read my top. It says royalty. Blue blood flows in my veins, girlfriend. And you know that. I'm a princess. I'm here to the whole throne. My grandfather's throne. Did you hear me? I this. 
dumpster you call a house. This dumpster has been your shelter for the past three months, you mean, girl? What am I even doing here anyway? Janice, if I see her, she told me, but I didn't believe her until now. My daughter, who are you? My name is Alex Sandy, and I grew up in Puyo And who are your parents? My parents are both dead and adopted. My instinct is telling me there's more to this. And I intend going into the depth of this mystery surrounding your background. Alan, your majesty, summon everyone in the palace tomorrow morning. It shall be done, your majesty. Okay. Let's go. Outside on a duty. Okay. Well, I summon you all here yeah, for a meeting. There is a situation. You all see the lady coming. You all know Princess Janet. Yes, ma'am. So you will say she's Princess Janice. Well, no. I say unto you, she's not Princess Janice. So I want somebody to tell me something. What is going on in this palace? I want to know. I need an explanation. Because she's not Princess Janice. Uh, Maya! Maya, Yes, sit down. Look. You will say she's Princess Janice, but no, she's not. I need that explanation. I don't, I don't understand. Hey. Look at her carefully. 
You brought Princess Janice to this house from America saying that she is your daughter. So, explain to me. My king. Yes. This is just a mere coincidence. For God's sake, thousands of babies are. Thousands of babies! And clones of each other? So, tell me the truth. I want to know the truth. My king. I know what happened. Really? Come forward. Tell us everything you know. Everything you know. Sit down. My king, your son has had a secret lover. Her name was Rose. What? A secret lover? <laughs> she was a dancer. As a maid in the palace, I used to help her sneak out of the house whenever she comes over to sleep with the prince. Later told me that Rose was pregnant. My prince, I'm glad you came. Rose. to have your baby. What? Are you serious? Yes, my prince. I'm gonna be your father. My prince. What? But I'm scared. Why are you scared? Your wife. Your father. Your throne. Look. Look, my dear. You have nothing to worry about. You are going to keep this baby and I will find the right time to explain this to them. Okay? Okay? Okay, my friends. And the queen was going to adopt the children. Promise me first that you will forgive me. I promise you, I will forgive you. I have children with a bad cold blues. What? She stays at Shalima. Please bring them to this palace and let my father take care. Just that. Thank you. Later, the queen went to America. Before she came back, the prince had died. That's what really happened, my king. Hey, Maya! Okay. All this time, 
you know about this. And all the time you're telling me lies. If it was not for the sake of my son, I would have driven you out of this palace. You are wicked. And God will judge you. Yes. My dear, you are most welcome to this palace. This is your rightful place and your family. You are most welcome. And I want you to feel free. Please. So, I had a sister all along. It's my sister. Yes, that is absolutely true. But never mind, my dear. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Your Majesty. Yes. Kindly permit me to go back to Kujiro Kingdom and inform my foster family about this new development. Okay. You have a point. No problem with it. As long as you promise me that you will be coming back because this is where you rightfully belong. I will, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Majesty.
right back. Where are you? I hope you haven't get out of town. Good. I have a mission for you. Meet me at one of your place. Same time. I have no time to waste. Inside this envelope, you will find a photograph of the virus that I want you to delete. And also, there is a sum of two million, which is your deposit, and you will get the balance when the job is perfectly done. Take. I will take. Look, I'm ready to do the job. But you know, I will. Serious and dangerous. My job is. The devil you have to make it. Do you what? I don't have that kind of money, Viper. What is wrong with you and money? You don't have no right to question my decision. This is my office, okay? <sighs> okay, fine, fine. You can have this for now. And when the job is perfectly completed, then your demands will be granted. Deal? Mm. Fine, take. Consider the job done. One more thing. You will find her at our usual supermarket and make no mistake about it. Trust me. Good. Fine.
Don't know that I miss Princess Alexis. Oh, dear. But that's not all. Something that has been baffling me about this whole issue is that one of the thugs actually called her Princess Jan. Even though she is arrogant, who wants to hurt her? Hurt who? I mean Princess Janice. <laughs> Are you asking me? Anyway, I'm glad to tell you that she's so arrogant. She could have met a lot of enemies, you know. It's rather unfortunate that Princess Alex is at the minimum. It's been one with the for. I pray that the project is successful. It will. Stop boring yourself. I'm not leaving this place, okay? Assaulting this young lady. Oh my this god. Is. Think of the fact that she has come from the palace a few months back, so I had to bring her here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Young lady. What happened? Your Majesty. Okay. I caught Princess Dennis here with my boyfriend, some day before. This morning on my way to town, I met her on the way and decided to advise her to leave my boyfriend for me. She got offended and she broke my head with a bottle of wine she was drinking from. Guys, seriously and truly, you are a disgrace to this world. She hasn't seen anything yet. Shut up! My dear, I am very, very sorry. Okay? That's <laughs> Take her to the palace bed. Thank you, my dear. Okay, my dear. Oh my goodness, would you are jealous? Who the hell do you think I am? Behave yourself until you meet your sister. I have a sister. Get out! Get out! Get out! Be your final day, and your face will be beautiful. Will be first in town. Beautiful. You like it? Today we're this time, okay? She about to go back to Africa, huh? Remember to take your drugs and stay away from flammable things, okay? 
especially fire. I will talk to the nurse for them to take care of okay. Guess what? Oh my god. Here I am. Thinking that I was an only child. But hey! Grandfather just told me. He just told me that I have a sister mother. Not just an ordinary sister mother, but another half of me. My twin sister. My grandfather says she traveled. She went to put the surgery. Mother! Is it true? Mother? Is it true? What? And how come? How come you never told me all this? See, let me tell you a little story. When I came back to you, you were twins. But I never saw my other talk to you. Because tradition demands that one of you should be raised outside the palace. But as you grow up, your other sister became so jealous. Because you were the one that was raised in royalty and to be the next queen. I don't understand. Then how come? How come she's back here? How, how did she get back to this palace? She only showed up when she realized that she ran away from the palace because you refused to marry Alan. And now they are both married. Wow. Oh my God. I can't wait to see my sister. Oh, you shut up. Jenny, so mother. I'm happy for her. She's my sister. She's I my sister. am your mother, Jenny. Can't you see? She's here to win you! For God's sake, Jimmy. Alexis is going to take everything that belongs to you. He's going to take your place. Can't you see? And how Open you your eyes and see! How is that going to be possible? How did I have told you that you have a sister that fits you? Even without knowing you, Alex is awaiting the passion of Jonas. She has got wanted to be everything, I mean everything that belongs to you. Alan, your grandfather's love, and even your mates. For God's sake, how can a mother like me love a daughter like Alexis? Never, Jonas. Never. That can, that can never be possible. It's time for you to take what rightfully belongs to you. But I must say running away from this palace was the greatest mistake you ever made. Because you ruined everything, Janice. I'm sorry. Mother, I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry, okay? You know, I never meant, I never meant to hurt you. I never knew that things would turn out this way. I'm so sorry. But don't worry. Allah was supposed to be your step. 
and that he will always do. So, go out and clean the mess. Mother, you see your girl? Your girl is back. And she's back for real. As for that idiot that calls us a Alexis, hey, she'll meet me. When she comes back from her surgery, she will meet me. I'm going to deal with her so badly that she will regret ever stepping her feet into this palace. I'm the only princess of this kingdom, and that I will ever be. Do you need another princess in this kingdom? No, at all. Do grandfather want another princess in this kingdom? No. Then I am the only princess of Bonito Kingdom. I will remain. Alexis, she doesn't know what is waiting for her. I said her come. That's my daughter, mother. Now you are talking like the real daughter of me. I'm a good I trust you. Thank you. Thanks for being with me. Take care. Bye bye. bye. Princess, indeed. She'll meet me here. Idiot.